3AW and Joy 94.9. Together to make it better. Live from City Square, David McCarthy and Neil Mitchell. Okay, well, if you can get the message from that, the message is this is different. I'm speaking to you from the City Square. Yes, we are in simulcast with Joy 94.9, the gay and lesbian radio station. So this program is going out to two audiences, 3AW and Joy. Both of whom are probably a little bit uh, surprised and might even be shocked that we're doing this. But that's the whole point. Bronwyn Pike is a former minister in the Brax and Brumby governments, health minister amongst other things, and she's with us in the mobile studio at the Wet City Square. Hi, Bronwyn. Hi, Neil. Hi, Macca. Good morning, Bronnie. 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 <laughs> I'm a friend of joy. I've been on many times and Macca and I know each other because he knows I'm pretty passionate about supporting gay young people. I think particularly for same-sex attracted young people, it's social isolation, um, which is caused by homophobia. And we look at a lot of the problems that same-sex attracted young people face and they, the, the core of the issue is homophobia. Um, it's that fear of rejection due to homophobia. Um, it's not being able to reach out for support. So today we can talk about depression, mental illness openly. We should be able to talk about sexuality openly. It shouldn't be used against someone because of their of their sexuality, and yet it is. Well, I mean, the fact is, we're talking we're talking about suicide, and suicide has been a big no, yeah. a big no no in mm. the media. You don't talk about it. As an ex journalist, I was told you don't you Absolutely. don't talk, you don't talk about suicide. My eldest son Paul is gay and uh, he and his partner are very close uh, to me and I love them very much and I am very concerned when things happen in the community that hurt them. I want people to step up. I want them to to understand and to think about this issue and to talk about this issue whether it's in the supermarket, whether it's at a truck stop, whether it's at a water cooler. Respect and love starts with kids and it starts in the schools uh, young children are not as well educated as older people. They're more honest in the way they express their views. They can talk to each other in what can be a very harmful way. And for those who are uh, without great confidence, with those who have a depressive illness or may be gay, uh, it puts added pressure on them. So kids are cruel, is what you're saying? Kids can be very cruel. Mm. Kids can be enormously cruel. Schools should allow the subject of suicide to be discussed. We need schools to feel comfortable to present that, because at the moment they don't want it. We have to check with them if we're allowed to say the S word. If a person goes about their life without causing harm, what right has anyone mm. else to <laughs> pass judgement on them? It, it, uh, it's about respect, isn't it, Jeff? Because... What, what is lacking here, there are so many avenues for people to be disrespectful and to not regard other people as, as equal and as worthy, and it's about respect, isn't it? Is it that is. What, that's what's a campaign to, to, to remind people to respect people.